right now I'm working on that uh, sculpture inspired by one that exists at the Met. It's an interpretation of it. What struck me was really the her patience that you can feel in her eyes. The Amazon, that word, is something that, you know, fly in my mind since I'm a kid. It's like myth that you hear about from storytellers. The second time I really heard that word was from the mouth of a friend. I was going through chemo. She used the word Amazon to represent tribe of women cutting their breasts to be better with their weapon. It's so peaceful. It's so calm. She has her arm like that and she's looking at uh, her being wounded, like at her, her bleeding, in a way. And it's on the right side, which is the side where I got mine too. I think you learn a lot by letting it go. At some point, if your work is uh, in public space, you don't know what, what is gonna happen. Suddenly, the sculpture, belongs to the public. When you go through chemo, there is something that really helps, it's acupuncture. Acupuncture helps you release. Another object which symbolize the spiritual life and which looks like acupuncture needles is the incense sticks. Feeling and lighting those incense might be a kind of catharsis gesture, also a symbolic gesture that can help in a way heal. In many cultures, you have rituals that helps you going through a grief. In Europe, you have the ex votos. In Mexico, you have the milagros. So it's a kind of, you know, objects in which you place all your grief and that helps you heal. I hope sculpture can be that in a way or another.